Now, finally, we have some clear skies and a meteor shower is peaking overnight. It is the perfect evening for a little bit of stargazing. The Yorkshire Dales has been given international recognition as home to some of the darkest skies in the country. Tonight, residents and businesses are meeting to discuss how to protect and make the most of the National Park's dark sky status. Olivia Richwald was near Laban for us this evening and sent us this. As luck would have it, tonight is a super night for stargazing because the skies are clear and crisp and the moon looks absolutely terrific. This is one of the best places in the country to view the starry skies. The Yorkshire Dales have been in dark sky reserve for about four years. And here at the National Park, they're hosting an awareness evening tonight. And among the guests inside are estate agents, parish councillors and electricians because they can all do their bit to try and keep the skies here dark. Earlier on I was speaking to Kate Bell from the Stonehouse Hotel and she was saying that the hotel is of course very very popular in the summer with lots of tourists coming for the blue skies and the walks but it's becoming increasingly popular in the winter too with people coming to stargaze and she had a part that well the, the hotel received a, a grant to try and enhance their lighting and she was telling me how it's been helping. We looked at our lighting, how we installed new lighting, what we could do to reduce the lighting that was already in place. So, for instance, putting little covers on the light so that things didn't shine up, they were covered down. Um, putting in low wattage bulbs so they weren't as bright um, and lots of uh, work around that to ensure that if somebody did come here, for instance, even though we are a hotel and obviously there's lights on not 24-7, but a lot of the time they could still see everything that they needed to see when they were out in the, in the garden. Tonight, guests here at the National Park Centre have been out to view Saturn and the Moon through a telescope led by astronomer Richard Darn, who's been telling me just how special this place is. But the Dales is one of the darkest parts of England. Yeah, we know that because we've done dark sky surveys, so this is a fabulous place. Milky Way streaming across the sky. You don't have to go to Namibia or Australia. You can come to the Dales and you'll see it beautifully, particularly this time of year. We'd prefer the Moon not to be in the sky. But the moon, everyone can see it. And you see the way it lights up a, a beautiful landscape like the Dales at night. It's magical. And we've got planets aplenty at the moment. Jupiter, Mars coming up. And of course, Saturn's still hanging there in the sky, just behind me over there. And it's looking fabulous. Richard was also saying that he himself lives in a very light polluted part of South Yorkshire. But he says even in our big towns and cities, we can all do our bit by choosing lighting that is less intrusive. Lighting that faces down, lighting that is motion sensitive and lighting that is, well, less white and bright. Olivia, thank you. What a lovely way to spend your evening stargazing. Mm -hmm.